son Robbie, who she had given up for adoption. She's had a fling with uh, no good ladies man Carl King and caused more than a few problems between Declan and his new wife Katie. Uh, the woman's a bit of a hustle. Oh, I tell you. Hi. Sister. A half sister. I don't want people thinking I'm from the same dodgy gene pool as you. You have the legendary charm of my She was setting me up. Miss White. Oh, no. Only I'm a bit upset about my own brother ripping me off to the tune of a quarter of a million quid. Oh, this is the part where you hit me, isn't it? Oh, oh, not quite. Oh, 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 that's got to be the now. ultimate, hasn't it? Pushing oh, the brilliant. bride's face oh. in the cake I know. on their wedding day. I felt really bad going like this when I got that. <laughs> you know, but it, poor Sammy. But bless her, she went for it. She just said, just go for it. And so I did. Well, this was in the live act, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So anything could have gone wrong. So, so how did you all feel going into that? It was just, we were, we were so excited, but daunted by, by it too. I mean, the elements out there, you know, the village at the best of times is the coldest place to be in Yorkshire. Yeah. But, you know, in the, in the morning it was pouring down with rain, there was wind coming sideways, we were like, oh no, how is this going to work? And that was the only thing really that was going against us. Because mm. we had, like, Tony Prescott, the god that is Tony, um, Explain what he does. He's such a brilliant director, so calm. Everyone else is flopping around. The script was brilliant. Everyone was, you know, well rehearsed. And so when did you watch it? Did you go, did you watch it the next day or? <laughs> I actually watched it slightly drunk at 2.30 in the morning oh, after the party. <laughs> I think you're really? allowed to. That was really good. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's no. in the bit that any, because I mean, you always sort of watch these things and look for the mistakes and as wrong as that may be, but it didn't appear that there were any. I don't think so. I mean, I didn't see any, but well, I well had blurry vision. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, was, it, it went so slick and it was received so well. Well, well of course, well. the reason there was a head shoved in the cake there is this, this is all about a bit of... Uh, uh, sibling rivalry? Yeah, sibling yeah. rivalry. It's a, money, it's, it's a money issue, it's a financial issue, ripped off over the, the festival. Of course. Uh, £250,000 it took from me. And having your revenge. Yes. Now, so you would think that it was all over and maybe that she'd gone, but she is back. <laughs> Not only Megan. back, but she's back in one of Declan's cottages. I know. She's still on the keys and is squatting currently in Mulberry Cottage with Robbie. And of course, uh, Declan and um, Katie come back tonight from the honeymoon and find out that Megan hasn't gone back down south. She's still She's there, much here. meddling. Here's a clip. <laughs> Hand it to her. She almost got away with it. Are oh, you embarrassing yourself now, Megan? That tape, the tape of me trying to stud you. Yeah, you never give up, do you? Well, there's only three people who know what really happened. Me, you, and Jenna. Ever heard of keeping your friends close and your enemies closer? Look, we had an argument. She flounced out of Una Moon. She's obviously just trying to stare it. Oh, quite a lot for her to make up, I think. But you led Robbie on so that he'd come on to you right in front of the CCTV camera. As if I would go near him. Ever. Well, we can always ring her. Or we could go round. You're cold, Katie. So we don't know what's going to happen, but what we do know is that at the end of this week, it appears that you are leaving. Yes, I come back down here. Down to where my apparent big flat is. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yeah. So this does leave the door open for you to go back yes. at some point. Yes. And are you going back? Um, mm, well, that would be telling. I have been filming recently, but in Yorkshire. Have you? Okay. Yeah, well, that, have you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so these scenes, these final scenes between the two of them, this, this competition between the two of them, you say it really breaks them. Yeah, I mean, it's quite sad, really, what happens to... Um, uh, there is a love there, but there's real sibling rivalry from way, way, way back, right mm. from when they were kids. And so um, Megan's always trying to get one-upmanship on Declan, but he always seems to pull out the trump card, which he does again, which sends Megan off to London, um, yeah, with her tail between her legs and Robbie on the lead. And you're, you're <laughs> loving it there because, um, so to speak, you, um, you're close to the family, and it's lovely to be... Because there was a point where you were thinking that you might change career. Well, you know, I mean, I've got two children. My, my son's just gone to high school, and I was kind of going around touring and, you know, doing wonderful stuff, you know, but it took, took me away from home a lot. And I just wanted to be, be around my kids, you know, it's a one-off, isn't it? You, yeah, know, you, you don't get it back. Again. So I just thought about taking a bit of time out, and then this came up, and 
this role was offered to me on a plate and it was like, wow, Megan. And you're not great. far from home. You I'm, I'm home right on my doorstep. I see my children every day. It's wonderful. It's just the real cherry on the top. And are you going to do any writing? Because there was a chance that you were going to do some more writing. Yeah, I mean, I love writing. I always try and um, keep the brain stimulated with writing. And I, I script edit on um, the Syndicate, my mum's drama. Yeah. Which has got a new series coming out. That's so, yeah, and I kind of dabble with that as well. And yeah. Well, Lucy Parges says, Thank you very much indeed for keeping the dressing room nice and tidy. Apparently, <laughs> you're very tidy. You share a dressing room and you take in nuts and biscuits. Isn't that true? Um, uh, occasionally, but Lucy's, Lucy's desk is full of goodies, so we're always raiding her goodies. <laughs> well, I hope you go back. I think you've confirmed that you probably yes, will. Yes, I Because uh, so. uh, we love Megan. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. Lovely to see you. you. Thank thank you. Take care. Right, in a moment, the Downs and